once a day So loud out here I can't hear a thing Man, the fans are going wild And these drivers came to rock And no place else but Fox Knows how to do it NASCAR style Buggity, buggity, buggity Let's go racing, boys and it's hey now Here we go, race day Don't you be going slow Keep that pedal down on the floor Push it to the crowd, can't take no more Big hair, since the flag came down Be here to the last lap around Well, darling, it's time to play Gonna get a little bit Hello and welcome to the 6th annual SCART Shootout, live from Daytona International Speedway. But before we look ahead to the 2012 race, let's first look back at the SCART Shootouts from the previous seasons. Of course, that unforgettable block and charter to win last year. The first ever commentated event on Slider TV, which makes this the first event to be shown twice on Slider TV. Before that, whoever won the shootout won it in pairs. Lex won it twice in Season 3 and 4, and Slick won it twice in Season 1 and 2. A few important things to note before this race, we've got two segments, one of 25 laps, one of 50 laps, there'll be a competition caution in the middle of it, where all cars must pit for four tyres. Another key thing about this race, no points will be awarded, but it will set positions 2 down to 10 for the 2012 Daytona 500. So let's take a look at who claimed the pole for the Daytona 500, and for the first time in seven races at Daytona, it's not land. Burnout will start on pole for the 2012 Daytona 500. Of course, the last person to sit on the pole at this 2.5 mile super speedway that wasn't land was Burnout in the 2010 turbocharged series race there, so a long time ago. Since then, Lance has sat on the pole for every single race at Daytona, including turbocharged series, Rising Star series, and the Full Throttle Cup. In fact, Lance has never qualified outside the top three at this track, because he qualifies second today, just two hundredths of a second off Burnout's time. Popovich comes through a surprising third, you have to say, and Jono just one one thousandth of a second off him. A rookie in his first ever qualifying session, surely a fantastic result. Then, also close behind is Deluxe, the first Toyota. He lost the 2011 Turbocharged Series race here in the final laps to Burnout on fuel mileage, surely looking for some redemption. Shimek starts 6th, another rookie, and Sam joins him in 7th, also a rookie. Charter, last year's winner, starts a disappointing 8th. Drills, second place in the Daytona 500 in 2011, starts 9th. And Umper, who had never seen the track before first practice today, will start 10th in his 97 Toyota. I'm James Tucker, and joining me today in the commentary booth is Sam Jones and Jonathan Holmes. Hey there. Hello. So, without any further ado, let's move on to the first picks of the 2012 season. Sam, who's your stud for the SCART shootout? Well, today, I've got to put my money on lands, because throughout the whole of the uh, testing and the, the pre-season Thunder Race, which is just a little uh, bit of a mess around, really, just to get used to the cars, get back into uh, racing and everything he's shown to be very quick often posting fastest lap time so I really think that he can pull this one off today but no pole but no yes no pole but you know he's still in the front row and uh, he wasn't too far behind burnout so at the end of the day he probably didn't get his perfect lap in because he has got fastest laps before he was literally only two hundredths off it was next to nothing at at the end of the day. Yeah, I mean, Land's been on the pole so many times at Daytona, now finally not. Uh, let's see if he can turn that around for the race. Jono, who's your stud? My stud today is going to be Bernard, just because he managed to beat Lands in qualifying, which probably shows that he's on good form towards the uh, shootout race and ready to put in some hot laps during the race. Don't you think he got a bit lucky, though? No, I think it's just his uh, pure skill. And... Hopefully you'll be able to carry it out during the mm, shootout. Not sure about that one. Yep, I'm going for quite a surprising stuff today. I'm going for drills. 
to win the Scarlet Shootout. Qualified down in ninth. I know he only qualified ninth, but I really reckon the second place man from the Daytona 500 last year has the skills to get up towards the front and win the front row spot for the Daytona 500 and the win in the shootout today. Well, he hasn't shown it so far. Second place in the Daytona 500 does not come from luck, I'll have you know. Yeah, but this is one of the more luckier tracks to uh, race on, though. Daytona, lucky. <sighs> That's controversial there. So let's swiftly move on to the duds. Jono, who's your dud for today? Uh, my dud is Popovich. He finished 10th in the uh, shootout last year. So um, that could show this year, and uh, with new drivers in the field this year, I think his qualifying could be a little bit lucky. He did finish fourth in last year's Daytona 500, though. Ah, yeah, but that was just a crash fest. <laughs> well, Sam, who's your dub? Well, today I've gone for the uh, eighth place man in the number seven car, the only dodge on the grid, and that's Charter. He won think... the shootout last year. You know, This is the defending winner you're talking about. Yes, but if you look at what he's done since, really, he hasn't had that... Yeah, he that... only finished second in the summer race. Yeah, yeah, but this, this is just Daytona. He's had a bad run. He's had a very bad run. He hasn't qualified well here. You know, he's looked not exactly on the pace. I really think he's going to struggle. Yeah, I have to agree, To in all honesty. Charter definitely fallen off the pace since those uh, two early Rising Star wins last year. And my dad, quite surprising, considering how well he ran in the turbocharged race, is going to be Deluxe. I think running out of fuel at the uh, end of that race and giving up that win to burn out really hurt him mentally. And I don't think he's got the pace at Daytona anymore. He was fastest in practice, but could not transfer that across into a qualifying lap. I think the pressure is too much for him. And uh, Deluxe is a no for today. Uh, he might be your dud of the week, but he's actually my one to watch. So uh, he's got an incredible amount of pace on him at the minute and uh, he was fast in practice so he's definitely showing some form this week. In the uh, off-season, the turbocharged series, uh, Deluxe was running really well until he, until he actually ran out of fuel towards the end of the race. But I definitely think he's got it this, this time around. Well, you know, I have to disagree. I think the psychological impact of that fuel out was too much. But let's move on swiftly. Sam, who is your one to watch? Well... Surprisingly enough, I've gone for the uh, guy who's qualified last today, who uh, goes by the name of Umpet in the 97 Toyota. He may have qualified badly, but to be fair to him, this is his first time, so you know he's only going to improve. And I really think that over a race distance, he'll be able to consistently put in the laps and really challenge for some of the much higher spots today. Can't argue with that, although, you know, last place. He's, he's literally done one practice session before this. Come on, he's going to clearly improve. He has to. Talking about who's done well in practice, Jono won the preseason Thunder race. He's got some great pace. He's never raced at Daytona before in anger, but he's really, really looking good. I think Jono can win the Scott shootout today at his first ever start. I'm on that bandwagon. But my stud, I'm sticking with drills. No, I think I think Jono, who will be a uh, bad in race pace, you know, he, he's going to be kind of new to this. He can make mistakes, you know. Yeah, get, he did win preseason thunder. Yeah, yeah, but that that was short, you know. That was no pressure, you know. There's a bit more pressure now, you know. This is getting a bit more serious. Now I can see what you're saying. I can see what you're saying. So with all the picks done, we'll check back on those after the race. See who did the best. See who did the worst. Join us after the break to see full coverage of the SCART shootout live on Sliders TV.